morning, future M. We are going to the gym to do personal training. Get all the muscles. My goals are basically get a program that I can do three days a week for one month and then meet with them again to get a new program. And my training goals are basically prevent left leg from being crap. Worse crap than it is now. Maybe make a better left leg, but I don't know about that. And then just general all the strength all over to compensate for crap leg over here. So, Bye. let's see what happens. Turns out, I'm extra super good at the gym. Yeah! The trainer even said, oh wait, I got to hang up on you. My mama called. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh right, the trainer even said that I was too strong for beginning weights. So I got to add weights on all of my exercises. And it was cool because they had this half a yoga ball thing that was flat on the bottom. And you stood on the yoga ball part and it was real wobs. Like, but eventually my body like sort of settled down and then I did things where I'd like move these weights around so that I could add extra wobs. And I really liked that one. So I'm gonna get all the muscles now. I'm excited. Hi Future M, we're doing a spearmint. You are attached to the front of the bicycle. Oh, oh. It's literally like a millimeter away. That's way too close for comfort. And I kicked it. Okay, we're gonna try it again. We have a selfie stick now below the robots. <laughs> but this is interesting because the robot responds to like gimbal movements, which it thinks are the bike. The bike, it, yeah, it's gonna be weird. This is strange, but we are doing it. It sort of obscures my vision, which is a little worrying. Ah, oh, bicycle cam. You just have to make it track your head. Ooh, that's real bouncy. It's real bouncy. I'm turning, I'm turning. Okay, hello. Um, so I decided that just because I am very depressed and want to just lump my body all the time doesn't mean I should do that. So I'm going to go to a comedy show called Goats Comedy, uh, which is in the Castro on Market Street. I've never been before. I'm spontaneous thing because my brain needs some spontaneous thing so I got my lipstick on I got my eyebrows on I got my hats my hair's dead I got the outfits so let's go read quantum physics books and line at a comedy show and see if we make any friends why am I depressed a year ago I lost my job my best friend moved away and with those two things, I lost all of my stability, my social context, my financial well-being. Um, a year before that, I lost my grandmother. And just a few months after she died, I lost my uncle, my only real father figure and the man who made the world feel like a safe place to be. Like there was always rescue if you needed it. So it makes sense that I'm depressed. Um, good on your brain, reacting to stimuli in an expected manner. Um, so I'm trying to do things that will help reestablish normalcy, reestablish stability. I have a job now, which definitely 
helps is like one step to reestablishing stability and while I can't get my grandmother back and I can't get my uncle back and I can't even get Vi back um, the way that I used to have her. Not that we're not friends anymore. We definitely are friends. I talk to her every week and text and stuff, but it's not the same as like our bodies being on top of each other in a pile. Um, so I need to find stability, like social context and other things, other humans, friends, and those things to sort of make my life feel real again. Um, so that was part of why I went to the San Francisco Writers Workshop uh, yesterday at Alley Cat Books. Um, just to give me like a place to go to read to make my writing feel real. So now I'm gonna go laugh my guts out and make my guts feel real. Yeah. Two of the comedians mentioned my laugh. Um, and it was very embarrassing, but yeah, doing laugh to your brains turns out it feels good when you're a lump o human. And then Steve made Beyond Burgers, which is this soy free, soy free plant based burger that I really like. And we made a salad, and now I'm just going to bed. And hopefully I can take more baby steps toward recovering my stable brains and stable bodies tomorrow. Good night, future M.